Hi my loves, it's your girl Jade. Um, I just wanted to shoot this quick video. I do apologize for not recording last week, but I, last week was mentally draining for me. Not the weekend per se, because I had, I had a good weekend, not this past weekend, but the weekend before. I had a good weekend that weekend, but the outcome from, I'll just say it, the election, you know how, how negativity easily breeds. So even though I had a great week before and a great weekend, the upcoming election and then the election threw it all off and it, it just mentally drained me with some of the stuff that I was seeing on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. It just bothered me and for me personally there are some things that I don't even get into conversations with people about religion money sex politics it's just people are going to have different opinions because we're all entitled to our own opinion however for some reason there are some people who tend to think that we're friends and we're supposed to have the same opinion and we're supposed to vote for the same candidate. And that's one thing I do not do. I don't apologize for having my opinion. Do I have a filter? Yes. And I've had my filter on for quite a while during this whole political vote for Trump, vote for Clinton, vote independent, vote green. I've had I've kept my mouth shut the entire time, but Tuesday night after the election I couldn't keep I couldn't hold my tongue anymore because this one particular friend of the family they were he he's my brother's both of my brothers my younger brothers they're they're my younger brother's best friend or best friend um but he basically posted on his timeline if you didn't vote for my candidate Trump if you didn't vote for Trump, then you need to unfriend me and block me now. Because if I find out that you voted for Clinton, then we can't be cool. Like, I'm going to unfriend you and block you anyway. So you might as well do it now and save yourself the face. And I'll say this. Not every person that votes for Trump is a racist. Not every person that votes for Trump that voted for Trump or is for Trump is a bigot. They, in my opinion, just think he's he was the better candidate. And I'll say not every person that voted for Clinton is a liar and not because I'm not even gonna get into that part. But I'll say this for me to see what he wrote on his timeline yes it's his timeline but we're friends on Facebook like I said he, he's been a family friend for 20 years so for you for him to post that it really hurt me and I felt that was my time to speak out and I left I friend I, I eventually unfriended him because I voted for Clinton not because I was for Clinton, just my personal opinion. She was the lesser of two evils. This whole political game is just picking one person that's the lesser of two evils. You're never going to agree 100% with one political candidate. And I'll say this again. Don't quote me word for word, but I also said I don't get into religion. But the Bible says that we as, as humans people we're not supposed to get involved in the political game anyway because it's all evil and I'll just leave it there um, if you have questions about that I'll be more than happy to google it and give you the scripture that says that um, but yeah so when the family friend posted that I kind of got in my feelings and I just made a, a quick I'm kind of sarcastic <laughs> in, in a what I basically posted was a sarcastic response to what he said. 
because I'm that type of person. I, I typically try to make light of something serious and let people know it's not that serious. Yes, the election is that serious, but your reason for unfriending somebody is not that serious. So what I basically posted was us as people and friends on Facebook having common interests and knowing each other for years but having our differences should not be a reason for you not to want to be friends with any with me anymore or with other people I saw at least six months worth of hatred bigotry uh, just a bunch of unnecessary stuff that coming from different angles of people that I've known for almost 20 years and to me it was just unnecessary so I basically said if you are not I'm a Cowboys fan there's proof can you see that I'm a Cowboys fan die hard can't it's in my blood I bleed blue okay so I basically said me being sarcastic I said well if we're friends based on common interests then if you're not a Cowboys fan, you need to unfriend me like right now because we can't be friends anymore. If you're not um, a Shonda Rhimes fan, if you don't watch Grey's Anatomy, you know, all of those Shonda Rhimes um, TV shows, if you don't like her shows, if you don't like Z Nation, Criminal Minds, NCIS, um, what's another one I watch? Oh gosh, Empire. Uh, the Walking Dead. If you don't watch any of those shows, we can't be friends because, you know, that's different. I don't know what you watch, but if that's the case, don't bother talking to me. I don't want to deal with you no more because, you know, we're different. You know what I'm saying? So that's the way people were kind of taking it. So, oh, <laughs> I ain't going to tell you the last part I said, but that was funny too. Um, So, yeah, that's the way I kind of took it and I posted it. There were f a few of my friends that post that you know replied back I completely agree with what you're saying and then another friend posted I agree with what you're saying but it is that serious with the election and, and here's my point and I said you're missing the entire point of what I was saying our next president has to have some kind of experience yes but my whole point was he you know what never mind I really don't want to get into it but that's what kind of threw me off for last week I I just I just and to this day I, I just still don't understand it I'm a lot more calm now than I was last week and Last week with the election, um, I drove back to my hometown and voted um, because where I live failed, failed to process my voter's registration. So, you know, sometimes you have to do what you have to do. I wanted my vote to count, so I drove hours back to my hometown and I voted. And I felt good about that. Now, even though the Bible says you're not supposed to vote I felt I, I I talked to God and I I felt I needed my sister told me pray on it so I did I prayed on it and I thought and honestly I wanted to vote green or independent because I don't I didn't like either one of the Democrat or Republican candidates but I did want to have a say now I'll add this Yes, your vote counts to a certain extent. However, the Bible says you're not supposed to vote. And I'll add another however. However, even though you vote, the Electoral College is and will likely always be the determining factor. Now, with this election, you clearly saw Hillary Clinton won the popular vote only because the people who 
the people who voted in those in those red states and those blue states they voted they didn't vote for Clinton they voted other like for the Green Party and the Independent Party which basically gave Donald Trump the electoral vote so that's the way that works um, and that's how he won so I say all of that to say <sighs> Did it sadden me that he won? Yes, because my personal opinion, like I said, like it, don't like it, you know, he's not qualified for the job. He's a, a bigot. He's a racist. He's a liar. He's, he was accused of rape. He's, he's, he, he's never had her held a political office. If you look him up, Every time you pull up his name, he's it's it says real estate mogul. It doesn't say anything about he held a political office. Hillary Clinton was a lawyer for years. So the two is just completely different. Like I said, I I went into the booth and I thought and I just <sighs> I couldn't place my vote on a green or independent because that basically meant I was voting for Trump. And that was the whole reason I voted, was to vote against him. I wasn't voting for Trump and I wasn't voting for Clinton. I put Clinton because simply because I didn't want Trump in office. And I think a lot of people felt like that. They weren't voting for her, they were voting against Trump. So that's my two spells. Um, probably first and last ever political religion debate I'll ever post because like I said I don't like getting in, getting into those type of discussions simply because a lot of people have a lot of different opinions and when you have that many opinions it's it's either going to be they're going to agree with you and there's a but or they're going to disagree with you and there's going to be a but however and uh and so and so and so and so and so and so so I just I don't like dealing with it so I, I, I like to be happy too much so that's you know that's that so that's all I wanted to say it was a little over it's a little over 10 minutes so I do apologize um, for rambling on like that but that was just my two cents so I love you guys. I'm going to get into my next video in a couple minutes. And I do apologize for even having this discussion. But I felt that um, I needed to say my two cents about, you know, people having different opinions about whoever your candidate is. It's just ridiculous. Let's just come together and unite. And yes, he was elected. There's nothing we can do about it right now except try to petition to get the electoral college banned or something like that that's about all we can do besides pray that he doesn't do what he said he wanted to do so that's it um like i said it's your girl jade i will holler at y'all in a couple minutes